Erythrosicus was a massive predatory reptile that roamed what is now South Africa about 250 million years ago. It was one of the greatest predators in its day, measuring about 20 feet in length and weighing close to a ton. Erythrosicus preyed on other reptiles and early mammal-like animals with its enormous head, strong jaws, and keen teeth. Its fangs were bent backward, enabling it to grip and tear apart its prey. Erythrosicus was also known for having a thick, scaly skin that served as an effective defense mechanism against other predators. Its distinctive red coloring likely helped it hide from potential prey by disguising it from its natural environment. Paleontologists theorized that they consumed other reptiles and early mammal-like animals as food. Its diet mainly consisted of smaller creatures that it could easily overpower with its massive head and sharp teeth. Erythrosicus was also capable of swimming and catching fish, which likely supplemented its diet. With its powerful jaws and curved teeth, Erythrosicus was a formidable predator that could take down a variety of prey. The discovery of Erythrosicus fossils is an important chapter in the history of paleontology. In South Africa, Robert Broom and Alan Cruikshank discovered the first Erythrosicus fossil in 1932. They found the skull and partial skeleton of the creature in the Karoo Basin, which is known for its rich fossil deposits. Since then, several more Erythrosicus fossils have been found, mostly in South Africa but also in Tanzania and China. These fossils have provided scientists with valuable insights into the physical characteristics and behavior of this ancient creature. The discovery of Erythrosicus fossils has helped paleontologists piece together the evolutionary history of early reptiles and their relationships with other prehistoric animals. The fossils have also shed light on the ecological dynamics of the Triassic period, and how the diverse array of creatures that lived during that time interacted with each other. Overall, the discovery of Erythrosicus fossils has played an important role in advancing our understanding of the prehistoric world and the creatures that inhabited it. The exact reason for Erythrosicus extinction is not entirely clear, as there is limited information available about this prehistoric creature. However, like many other animals of the time, Erythrosicus may have gone extinct due to a combination of factors, including changes in the environment competition with other predators, and or a decline in food sources. During the late Triassic period, the global climate was changing, and there were significant fluctuations in temperature and sea levels. These changes could have had a major impact on the ecosystem and may have led to the decline of certain species, including Erythrosicus. In addition, there were other large predatory animals present during the same period as Erythrosicus such as the Rauisichids and theropod dinosaurs. These animals likely competed with Erythrosicus for food and resources, putting additional pressure on its population. Furthermore, some scientists speculate that Erythrosicus may have faced a decline in prey populations, potentially due to overhunting or habitat loss. As a top predator, Erythrosicus may have been particularly vulnerable to changes in prey populations. Overall, while the exact reasons for Erythrosicus extinction remain unclear, it is likely that a combination of environmental and ecological factors played a role in its demise. Thank you for joining us on this journey back in time. We hope you enjoyed learning about Erythrosicus, the red crocodile from the prehistoric world. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon for more interesting videos. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.